Hi friends, uh, welcome to Blockchain Series 4. So in this uh, video, we're going to see how to deploy the Truffle project to the Gena CLA, which is nothing but the test RPC. So let us proceed with the um, steps. So uh, you, you can see the project structure that we have created using Truffle in it. So it has a contract migration and Truffle config. So in Truffle config, we just uncommented the development section because it's in development. We don't have any other nodes. So uh, it's a like test folder, as of now it is empty, we will also cover the test cases in our upcoming videos and migration where you are going to deploy this, um, purchase smart contract with some value. So yeah, you don't want to confuse with this value, um, proceed with uh, this number zeros. So you can just go to the git repository and you can check it over there. So with this video, I am also going to attach a document, that's a word document where you can actually, the steps have been uh, mentioned very clearly. So it's just a uh, 15 page word document, you can just, in a beginners, you can just go to the read document and make your, uh, make use of that. And uh, now, uh, we are going to the um, purchase folder and we are going to start the GANA CLA. So it is not only that you have to go inside this folder, you can start it from anywhere because that runs inside a localhost 8545. So you can see this command like gena cli iphen m network id um, account iphen a account uh, which is nothing but uh, 10 accounts. It generally it comes with 10 accounts so I have specified that and we have specified the gas price and gas limit. So if you want to be familiar with all those comments which you have given here, you can go to the documentation here and you can see what are the options that you have you, that is provided by the GANA CLI. So uh, the, the document is pretty good over here. So you can go and refer it over here. So what it does you like basically uh, it will just create an, um, a network with uh, uh, 10 accounts and with the default of 10 ether for each and every account and it has a private key and everything. So we can see uh, everything, whatever we have, we have just created a 10 accounts and it's uh, the corresponding private keys and the gas price, gas limit and everything. So you can see it's listening on port localhost 127.0.018545, which is nothing but localhost 8545. And uh, whatever the contract that we are going to deploy will, de will be deployed in this particular network. So uh, let us go to this um, project folder and we will do truffle migrate so we are going to migrate to the particular network which is 8545 so you can do truffle migrate so this will uh, compile and migrate your contracts to the network so meanwhile you are compiling so you can see this one like there are uh, logs being generated in the network and i mean here also you can see summary what are the contracts that being deployed and how much cost that it involved like it's for three point uh, 013 ethers and it deployed two contracts so so we we didn't face any errors over here uh, you can see the compiler sol sol solidity version and everything so if you face any errors like it might be a problem with the truffle version so i'm i'm showing the truffle version what i'm using currently and now so i'm using the latest version of uh, 5.1.20 so make sure you also have this uh, try to make sure make sure that your solidity version and the um, truffle version or latest so uh, solidity version i have used in the contract is uh, between the certain range you can see here it is like greater than 0.4.22 and less than 0 0.7.0 and you can see here we were having only contracts migration tests uh, before running the truffle migrate, we have created, uh, the truffle has created the purchase.solid is nothing but an ABI. So using this ABI only, in the next video, we are going to create a Node.js uh, REST API endpoint where you are going to execute the uh, contract. So let us, in next video, we will cover the uh, how to create an uh, uh, REST API for an uh, Solidity smart contract using the 3JS and it will be uh, so that in the next video you should have good basic good knowledge on uh, Node.js, Express and everything so that uh, it will be very useful for you. So and also there is one command when if you if you do some changes in the smart contract and if you want to reset that build you can say reset hyphen hyphen reset so this will actually reset the build build folder inside the purchase so you know you can see that uh, we didn't do any changes but you can actually do that 
so i think that's for, that is for this video and uh, stay tuned for the next video which is more important where you can build rest apis using node js and express so that is more important and we are going to cover the web3 js library as well so stay tuned for the next video and uh, thanks for your valuable time uh, please do subscribe and share uh, share this video to your friends uh, who are uh, looking uh, who want to learn more on blockchain and the truffle and sm smart contract and uh, put your valuable comments uh, don't forget to press the like button